Well, hello to all my friends at Stitch in Heaven. If you haven't met me yet, I'm Brandy Maslowski. If you've been listening in to the Quilter on Fire podcast, well, that's me. Welcome to my studio. Let me take you on a quick little before and after tour with my top three tips along the way. This is a sneak peek into what you'll learn in my studio magnificent lecture. You'll probably find that my studio is perfectly imperfect, but that's what works for me. Let's go. Hello? Rob Appel, my friend, how are you doing? How are things going over there at Stitch in Heaven? Right, yeah, the video, yeah, the studio tour. Yeah, no problem, anytime. Right now, oh, right. Um, well, you know, yeah, I, you know, I, I just need to like, I just need to move a couple things around. Um, I'll be, I'll be right back. This is the before shot, but keep watching. I'm about to give you a studio tour after the cleanup, and I'll give you my top tips to get your studio in tip-top shape, and you'll have a studio that you love, that keeps you inspired, that you wanna come back to again and again to get creative. Tip number one is to remove the stuff that doesn't belong. And for me, this first step is always garbage. Tip number two, fabric storage. Store your fabric in little bins, even with the top of the container on end, so you can see every piece in your entire collection. I can usually walk around my studio and find things that I've used, I'm done with, and find a spot for them. And also, here's a hidden secret, you always are gonna find those little bits of fabric and thread on the floor. If you vacuum those up, it's gonna feel like a breath of fresh air in the studio. And one last thing, if you go into your closets, look for those boxes of things that just don't belong in the studio, like papers from your graduating class of 1994. And speaking of fabric storage, let's not forget about all those scraps. I have a beautiful fabric bin that I keep on my cutting table and I fill it with scraps as I go. Once it gets full, I head on over to my 16 scrap drawers. I have rainbow scrap drawers and I sort my fabric while I'm watching a TV show into the colors of the rainbow and I fill my drawers one by one so it's super easy to just grab and go. Tip number three is to create little vignettes of things that you love all over your studio. So every time you look around, you find joy. Encouraging words around the studio will keep you inspired and bring a little more joy to your day. And I can't really do a studio tour without a sneak peek at where the magic happens. Here it is. Thank you for listening to the Quilter on Fire podcast. Until next time, dream big and have fun in the studio with the Quilter on Fire. This is one of my favorite vignettes in the studio because the Live Your Fire plate was made by me in a pottery class and the quilt was made by my great grandmother and it brings me so much joy to this day. Here's what you'll see when you come in. The latest quilt I'm working on. This one I'm entering in QuiltCon. If it gets in, I'll be thrilled. If not, it's the entering that's the victory. And here is my sewing space. So you can see there's no machine there right now because I'm getting myself set up for some video adventures. So my Bernina is way over there. But here's my space. It's a nice little L shape and it's got a lot of room and it's just perfect. It's exactly what I need. So let's take a look right at my huge bank of cabinetry. I've got 16 fabric drawers on the bottom. Hello, puppers. And I have all kinds of cabinets and everything. Up above, I have storage for big bins. This is all my painting supplies and workshops. I have a different workshop in every bin. And all my prize giveaways are stored here. And all my Northcott fabrics. And all of my cubbies, they're messy and clean and everything in between. But I have tons of storage. And you can see what I mentioned before, my rainbow storage of scraps and all the storage that I have, my thread. And this is where the magic happens, or it's going to happen on video. I'm doing a video series coming up called Square One. So if you're interested in getting into fiber art, keep an eye on my Instagram and my Facebook and get on my newsletter. You'll hear everything. So I have two massive closets like this. So why don't we take a look inside? These are my storage areas. 
So I have all kinds of supplies and products that I sell, things that I love, the magazines and books that I keep all stirred nice and neat, my children's picture book, and even the original artwork of my children's picture book. I always put the bigger things up top and the smaller things down below. That's kind of a sneak peek into my storage area. And let's finish off with a really great shot of my Bernina 770 QE+. I'm so proud to be a Bernina ambassador. And here's the last part of my studio. This is the entrance and I have art that my son has made all over my house. But this is the entrance and I love this part of my studio because I have my art here and this is a relaxing couch area where visitors can come. I lay out the things that I'm working on. So I have a quilt of valor there on the left, a quilt for survivors, some hand projects that are coming up. But I love to put out things that are my favorite, like this vintage lamp. And I display my artwork on the walls. I have a funky paint technique on the wall just for fun. I have words everywhere, like imagine, and all kinds of block sayings with inspiring words. And I put out things I'm proud of, like this scarf. I made this Nuna Rusco felted scarf and I was really proud of it. I love to collect all my little vintage things and my favorite people, and of course, make today ridiculously amazing. It's cleanup time. Time to get rid of the clutter. I just wanted to pop in here again to give you a personal invitation to join me for the Patchwork Pirates Cruise with Stitch in Heaven. We set sail for the Caribbean May 14th, 2023. And this is the quilt I'll be teaching. It's called Serenity Cruise and you'll fill up your toolbox with three great techniques from precision piecing with a simple four patch for the sand to great big easy to learn curved piecing for the waves. And we finish off with some foundation paper pieced strippy blocks for the ocean. And exciting news, we'll be doing all new fabrics and kits will be available. So I can't wait to see what Stitch in Heaven chooses for these glorious fabrics. Go to stitchinheaven.com and search Patchwork Pirates to book your cruise today. Be sure to listen in to the Quilter on Fire podcast and you can find me everywhere online as the Quilter on Fire. Thanks for joining me today for a tour of my studio.